so don't let a psychic blow wind up your skirt. Hey guys, it's John out here on the back deck on a beautiful evening. It is about 7.30 and the sun is out and setting behind me. Not a single cloud in the sky. It is just gorgeous and I'm hoping there's still some um, aurora borealis tonight. Uh, with this clear of a sky, we should see some amazing things if there is. Um, you can probably hear my voice a little raspy. It was a very, very long week of sessions last week, so I'm really kind of uh, having a rough time with my voice this, this week. But I wanted to hop on and talk about something that I saw today, and I want to relate it, relate it to some of my personal experiences. You know, in my life, I've had a lot of psychic readings. A lot of people who gave me their perception of my work and the things that I'm doing and all this stuff. What I found really quickly was there are different kinds of psychics. Some of them are, are like just literally trying to help you and, and show you the future. But many of them, many of them try to blow the wind up your skirt. And that's an old, old saying from a long time ago. It's basically give you a thrill. That's what it means. And I recently watched a video of someone who I, who I really respect, I like, who I like a lot. And he was talking to someone who was a reader that he really respected and really admired and followed. And I watched the interview and I, and all I came away with was, was that she was really just kind of blowing wind up his skirt, making him feel like he, like he is, um, instrumental in the, uh, the next level of humanity. Um, and, and I will tell you, I've had that experience multiple times where, where, you know, readers have told me, Oh my God, you're the, you're the most powerful person on the planet right now. And Oh my God, you know, you, I have a lot of people who tell me things like that. I don't believe any of them anymore. And the reason I don't is because I don't, I think we're all one. And when I hear someone saying, you know, blowing wind up your skirt and saying you are you are the instrumental person of the planet you are and putting you up on a hierarchy or pushing you up on a hierarchy i find it to be a really interesting um aspect because i find that when you find a really good reader they don't do that they kind of talk to you like you're equal and talk to you like your friend and when you find somebody who's really going to try to blow you up to be you know the earth shattering changer of the world um, that is usually not about um, truth as much it is as it is about them getting you to really uh, latch onto them and admire them and like them, and it's also about keeping you in a place where you feel like you're like you're have this important sacred mission that you're that you're achieving in life. And when what recently I had someone who who sent me a, a link to a video he did about me and I asked him to take it down because his video was all about, you know, he's a disciple returned and, you know, he's, you know, you have to you listen to him and it's the wisdom and, and it, it was really putting me on a pedestal. And I was like, I really don't like that. Right. I really, I don't like when, because I don't think that I'm, I'm any more or less than anybody else. I'm no more or less than the guy who's, who's begging on the street corner for uh for a dollar than or the president i'm not any better or worse than the president or 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 you know the pope or any of them i think we're all equal and we're in this world creating our own expression and when when you have these people who are very much trying to bloat your ego to you know to create this experience i think it's really uh really detrimental to not only the person that's that's hearing it from them but it's detrimental to society for someone to create this, these, these expectations and these stories about the future. Uh, I heard so many different things when I went to Egypt that time and that video I did called the story I wasn't going to tell. They all had these expectations and they all had these, these big stories about what was going to happen in Egypt. And first thing I said when I got to Egypt is, is drop all expectations. None of us know what's going to happen here. And no, none of us knows who's the important one in this. But I, I will tell you, there is a, a select member of the psychic community 
who will literally, for the sake of getting their own importance, they will start to push people up. And and, and the people who, who get pushed up really, really feel like it's important that they hear this message and it's, you know, and, you know, you know, you don't know how big it's going to grow and you don't know how much, how much you're going to go affect. And they start really pushing these stories like this. And it's, it's really not about, um, these sacred mission ideas as it is about ego plays. And, and when I say ego, self-awareness, you know, when I talk about ego, I talk about the, the true meaning of the word ego, which means self-awareness. But we get an out of balance of ego, and you can be, a, you know, a, you know, so self-absorbed that you exclude others and become lean towards the narcissist side, or you can be so uh, absorbed in others with the, and forget yourself and be to the empathic side. But in reality, it's 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 when you find the people who are fragile. They will start pushing people up to make themselves feel good and to get these people to tell them how much they love them. And so uh, I'm not going to say who it was, whose video I just saw recently, but when I saw the video, I saw someone who I really like and who I um, respect. And I saw him become, in my personal opinion, a victim of one of these readers who was just blowing wind up his skirt. and. It really, it really bothered me because this is something that I went through for for twenty years. You know, the next the next reader wanted me wanted to be the next important one in my life, and so they would push this set and the other thing and talk about how I'm you know change I'm the one who's changing the world and all this stuff. And I don't think I don't think it's true. I don't think that. Um, I think that we're all changing the world and we're all changing it together as one. But when I, when I see someone who is literally telling someone that they have this sacred mission that they're, that they're achieving and all this stuff, it really, to me, is so disempowering to the person because now they're going to have an ego struggle. They're going to have an out-of-balanced ego thinking that their work is, you know, the imperative. And and it's going to become a very – going, there's going to be a moment where – He's going to realize that that it's it's kind of a folly, it's kind of a a, a primrose path he's going down, thinking that everything is beautiful and lovely, and that he is you know he has such great importance in all of this. We're all important equally, and when I when I see these readers who really they make a living off of of making other people feel like they're extra special, and that's what this reader did for this this person that I know and. Um, I've, ha I've had a lot of experience with a lot of readers, uh, doing that with me. And I, and I had my moments early on, uh, thinking, well, what, am I this important? Am I in all the sacred missions? And I, and I really realized that, it, that we're all on a sacred mission to experience our oneness with the source. And I, I just want to come on and, and warn you guys in a way and I don't like to warn because warning is something bad, but let you be aware that some people will just read to make you feel special and they are doing a disservice because you're, you're never not special. And they're just, they're just becoming the drug. They're becoming the, 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 the thing that you makes you feel better rather than you going within and finding the oneness with God within you, the, the oneness of God and the feeling of that, that greatness within yourself that's found at the bottom of every breath. And they're just coming along and, and making themselves the drug that makes you feel high when they tell you how great you are. And so I just wanted to come on and give this kind of talk about it because it really bothered me today when I saw this person who I know and, and I like, and I watched him um, pay deference to this person who was just so obviously blowing wind up his skirt and so giving him a thrill and that's my take on this and i i just wanted to be be um very clear because i've had this experience over and over again i've had this experience for, and i went through i went through my own how to balance ego with it a long time ago and um i just want to make sure you guys realize that 
You don't need anybody. You don't need middlemen. You don't need psychics. You don't need any of them. You can connect right within yourself at any moment of any day. It's a matter of you stepping into your own power and finding that path within that's found at the bottom of every breath. That's my thought on this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.